So today I'm like, ooh, checklist on my Instagram. I put like, today's checklist. There's gonna be such a productive day. I go on my daily walk. And normally I never like leave my purse in the car. If I do, I'll put a blanket over it or whatever. Obviously never like leave it open. I usually also park next to the playground. So my car is less likely to be broken into. For some reason, I did none of that today. And you know what happened? I got my car broken into. And you know what they stole? My purse, my ID, my wallet, my keys to my apartment, I do have other keys to it, but also like, I have to like scan this thing to get to my apartment. That's now gone. Um, what else did they take? Oh, my glasses, my nice glasses, so I can see, gone. I think my AirPods were in there, like $80 cash. Uh, I just canceled all my credit cards and then called the police. And they tried to use my card, but I caught them before they did it. So then, like, they didn't actually spend any of my money. So it was a waste for them. And now it's just a burden for me. Now I have no ID, I have no money, and I want to die. <laughs> love that for me. Don't you just love going on walks? I love walks, like, for sure. Oh, that was foul. It's your fault. I'm kidding. Now we're waiting for the police. <laughs> so this clearly happens a lot. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's glass. And this is obviously like right there windshield glass like all so this is like a routine thing it's probably been like an hour and i'm still waiting on the police but like, yeah i'm about to walk up on this huge pile of glass so obviously these people do this a lot and now i feel even more stupid for not like realizing that <sighs> i don't know window right here. yeah that's definitely from someone breaking into a car nice so yeah welcome to 2022 i got my car broken into right off the bat great way to start literally happened on january 5th or 6th what is today i think the 6th anyway very annoying so this is your sign literally never leave your purse in your car don't leave anything valuable in your car i feel like i got way too comfortable because i've never had anything bad happen like that to me before to just like leave stuff out and like i literally always i'm like the biggest advocate for covering your purse if you leave it in your car like with a blanket like i literally keep a blanket in my car but the problem is i put on my hoodie and i was like oh i don't want to bring my purse i almost didn't even bring my purse to the park i didn't realize i had a bunch of stuff till still in the back that i could have covered it with I could have at least put it like under the seat or something like I was so stupid about it I feel like it's my own fault but you know what? it's not my own fault it's a criminal's fault who broke into my car but it's still stupid that I left my purse in my car and I can definitely like take an L for that one um yeah my airpods my glasses my wallet luckily I cut off all my credit cards before anything bad happened um the problem was the new ID which I was gonna get new ID and registration to live in Texas this month anyway because my car registration expires this month um but now I have to do it like there's no choice I have to <laughs> yeah so I took literally everything out of my car the only thing in there now are like napkins and I'm gonna show you guys what I did for now because um the people coming to fix my window I could have gone there or they could have come here but it, either way it would have been on the same day so it's on like next Tuesday I think is when my car will finally be fixed um talk to the insurance and um it's gonna be cheaper for me to just pay for it like it, my deductible is too high so yeah that sucks it's gonna be like 300 bucks to get my window fixed plus all the money it's gonna cost me to replace all my stuff so that really sucks but it's fine I feel like I've handled it pretty well I didn't have an emotional reaction because it's like that's not gonna help to be angry or sad or upset um I did have like I felt like I I wasn't emotionally reacting but my body was almost like in shock or something just because I've never had something like crazy like that happen to me it made me very nervous and like feel unsafe in my own apartment and stuff everything's okay I'm gonna get my locks changed I'm calling my apartment today to get that done to get keys replaced and all that so very stressful a little scary but I'm just glad that no one got hurt oh and the police finally came last night at like 8 p.m. and they just like wrote up a little report so yeah there's my story. Let me go show you my car. Also, literally, as soon as I got home, my neighbor was sitting on my porch and she was like, hey, I've been waiting for you to come home. Like, some people came and stole all your packages on your porch, which I think were all my Christmas presents for my mom. Great. But I don't think they're related. <laughs> so right now, I just have a trash bag on my car. Um, you know, it's holding pretty well. I might add another one because it's supposed to rain tomorrow and I have until Tuesday. I could also park. There's like covered parking over there I could park under, but great. Love that. All right, it's Tuesday. Someone finally came and fixed my window, so my car is drivable again. 
Um, now I just have to start the process of like replacing literally everything. So I'm gonna take my slip from the Houston Police Department because my leasing office said to get like new keys and not have to pay for it. Um, I can just bring this to show that I got them stolen. Oh, this is such a long process. I also just got a call about like a payment on my credit card and they were like, we tried to run your credit card and it didn't work. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'm waiting on a new one to come in because my wallet got stolen. They're like, oh, okay, it's no big deal. But it's just annoying how many things I have to update with a new credit card and everything. But welcome to life. <laughs> okay, it's not the same day, but I did end up getting my replacement key. And I'm going to go try to check the mail, except I don't have a new mail key. And like previously, like the mail key to get in the mail room wasn't working for me. Only the key to open the mailbox was working. So I don't even know if this is going to be possible. But if I can't open the mail room until I get my new mail key, because they had to order one, then I don't know when I can get my new credit cards. And uh, it's just like, does everything have to go wrong? Like literally everything? Because apparently it does. Of course, it didn't work. This is so frustrating. Okay, it's a Christmas miracle. I didn't have to wait too long, but I just parked and waited for someone else to go check the mail. They opened the mail room and then I could go unlock my mailbox. So that's good. I had so much mail and it looks like all my credit cards are potentially here. Except there was a box in there, like a package, and it like fell back into like where the mail person puts the mail in your mailbox. So hopefully that'll get back in there. But yeah, I got my mail. So this is the package that I got in my mailbox. Not the one that fell behind because I didn't get that one. But this one and it's Valkyrie's merch. Um, I don't watch her as much now. I literally bought this like months ago. But I still love her. I think she's really cool. Um, I used to watch her streams all the time and stuff. So plus look how cool this is just like in general even if it wasn't merch. I'm literally obsessed. So I'm very happy this came in. Um, It's like Sunday now and I just got back from church which was super fun. We're studying the book of Revelations which is always a fun one. <laughs> I love seeing my friends at church and everything. Sunday's always like literally my favorite day of the week. So that's exciting. Um, nothing else new though is really happening in my life. I Now that I finally have like everything back, I can get back to work because I've just been waiting because my car wasn't able to be used and then I didn't have any money <laughs> so I couldn't even get like gas for my car or anything. So I've literally just been chilling at my house. I don't know what to do about my ID though because I do need to get a new Texas ID but I can't get my car registered and you need to do that before you can get a Texas ID and I can't get my car registered until February 10th because that's like the earliest appointment. And I need an ID to be able to fly to my mom's for my birthday and I don't know if that would all be done in time. So I'm just a little stressed. I might try to see if I can just get an ID, not a driver's license, I guess. See if that's a possibility i just don't know i'm probably just gonna have to call and figure that out but these are the struggles of getting your wallet stolen it's so much fun but anyway so along with all the vlogs i've been doing on my channel i want to do more videos like the last video i posted where i literally just like sit and talk to you guys and hang out so comment down below some topics you guys want me to talk about and just other content you guys want to see with see from me because i forgot to ask you guys that like at the beginning of the year i just like to ask everyone like what kind of stuff do you want to see from me this year and although i am focusing on a bunch of other stuff right now and youtube is a little bit on the back burner i still love youtube but i still want to keep posting content for you guys and i am not going to abandon you guys so definitely let me know Oh, I'm also super excited. I just ordered some books and um, I'm really excited to read them. So I want to tell you guys. So right now I'm reading a book called Classic Christianity and then obviously my Bible study every day. So I just ordered a book called Cold Case Christianity. I'm so excited about this book. It was written by a guy who was actually Mormon and then he became atheist um, after leaving the Mormon church, which is like most people who leave the Mormon church end up becoming atheists because you're like, oh, well, I was just deceived and lied too so why would i trust god um but then he actually dives into the history of the bible and if it's a credible source and a bunch of stuff and basically proves christianity to be true with historical facts so i'm really excited about that and then i also ordered a highly recommended book called mere christianity that i'm going to be reading and then also another highly recommended book called the case for christ 
a journalist personal investiga investigation of the evidence for Jesus. So basically diving into like evidence for Christianity, which I've been doing a little bit on my own as well. And yeah, I don't do this very often, but I want to encourage everyone who's watching this video to have a personal relationship with Jesus because he has saved my life, changed my life, made me a completely new, different person. I experience joy even when things are hard and even when I'm mad and upset and annoyed, I can still find joy and peace. And it's just like such a crazy blessing that God has given to us. And I just wanted to throw that out there. I love you guys. So I want you to know about Jesus. <laughs> And if you're skeptical, maybe these books would be some good books for you to read as well. I definitely think it's always a good idea to question your beliefs and to dive into the truth of it and historical facts about it and all that. I mean, that's part of what led me out of the Mormon church. So I definitely agree with doing those things. So I'm doing the same for Christianity. Okay, so I also bought this like super cheap coffee maker because I always go to Starbucks. Um, growing up, I wasn't allowed to drink coffee. That was against the religion I was in. So now that I can drink coffee and I love coffee and it's much better than energy drinks that I used to drink um, I've been learning how to make my own coffee and stuff so I, I'm really proud I have a little coffee station first off this is the mug that I use it's literally like my only mug it's between this mug and this mug which actually is giant here is the size difference which I barely even drink my coffee in my mug fast enough for it to not get cold I'm I'm a really slow like drinker Anyways, it says never doubt the healing power of mac and cheese and there's a story behind this. Ignore my dirty stove. So my stepmom just like one time sent me a package with mac and cheese and a card in it and this mug and it was just so random and so cute. So thank you, Amy, if you're watching this. <laughs> literally cracks me up. So I, that's literally what I drink my coffee out of every day. I have my coffee pot and then I use stevia and I have this sugar-free like syrup. This is what I always stir my coffee with and then I have these to-go cups and I have some lids up here and then I have my coffee and my filters and everything. So I'm pretty proud of that. Also, my camera has been struggling to focus on anything and I just realized I had it on the wrong setting. So now, look at me, I can move all around. I'm still in focus, so we're good. Anyway, I'm gonna make some coffee. I have a little bit left from this morning, so I'm just gonna drink that. I always forget that there's actually a lot of coffee in the pot. I started pouring as if I thought there was even, wasn't even gonna be enough to fill up my whole cup. So now I have a very full cup of coffee and it's already 6 p.m. so I'm probably gonna be up all night again. I did this last night as well, except I drank it at literally midnight because it just sounded so good. I also used to hate coffee. I mean, it's definitely a little bit of an acquired taste in figuring out how you like it, but uh, now I love coffee. <laughs> well, anyway, I don't really have much else to add about my car getting broken into. It sucks, but it's all figuring itself out and almost every problem that I have from that is resolved. So hopefully it's not gonna be too bad. So it really wasn't as bad as it could have been, I guess. Um, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.